Hello, this is Brent Stangle from freebusinesstraining.org. Today I'm going to show you why using a homestead site builder will save you time, money, and will allow you to create websites so fast and easy that you just won't believe it. You can go. So, we don't have a lot of time. Let's take a quick look at Homestead's quick tour. Want a website, but you're not sure where to start? Homestead lets anyone create a professional-looking website quickly and easily. Let's say you own a bakery. How do you take your rising business to the web? Just start by picking a category that fits your business. Homestead's professional designers have created over 2,000 templates for you to choose from. Here's a bakery template that you think is almost perfect. It already has great starter graphics and text for a bakery website just like yours. A couple quick changes and your website is good to go. Drag and drop your logo in, add your own text, or edit what's there. Your website template includes all the pages you'll need, already filled with content that gives you a great starting point. You can move things around on any of the pages until the site's just the way you want it. All right, now we've seen Homestead's quick tour. Now we're going to go ahead and build a squeeze page. I'm going to go. If you have any questions, feel free to post them on the blog. You'll slink, see a link around here. Uh, if you're watching it somewhere else, it's it's around here somewhere. Got our background here. We're going to set our background at a thousand. That's just what's going to be behind our site. Different browsers. It'll it'll just fill the whole browser regardless of how their resolution or the size of their browser or anything. Page title, we can leave that at index. If it was something else, we could put something else in there and that would show up in search results. All right, we're going to need our squeeze page to catch people's names and addresses. It's just a rectangle, any old rectangle. Choose the color of the rectangle. We'll go with uh, periwinkle. Just going to go really fast, make the corners rounded, resize our rectangle. Alright. Rounded edges on this too. Medium rounded. Change the color to something custom. That's how easy it is to change the color. We go up, make it lighter, we go down, make it darker. Like that, we could also put in any hexadecimal value here. It's just really versatile in that in that respect. Okay, now we got our basic squeeze page, and uh, we need a place for our subscription box down at the bottom. So we're going to add another rectangle for that. Uh, now I have some stuff set up ahead because, in the interest of speed. Add some text right here. I'm going to click here to add text. Okay. Got some some bogus headlines and ad copy here. Kind of reminiscent of these people that sell dreams on the internet. So it's kind of a a joke. All right, that doesn't look so good. So we will make this. Helvetica is fine. We'll make it much larger. Say yeah, so people can see it. Bold and italics. Make it a color they can see well. Dark red. See how that matches up with our Let's center. This. All of this is just basic, just like any word processing program you've ever used. Drag and drop, resize, bold, italics, font, color, all that stuff. Center. Regardless of what they are. Now this is going to be a real basic page. I'm not going to get fancy with it because I don't have that long. Now we can just take and either click here and clone or there's also a clone button up here that just saves massive amounts of time because it keeps all your your formatting. We don't want it that big or that color. So we're going to shoot it down to like 18. We're going to make it black. Alright. Now this is going to be our 
bullet points on our squeeze thing. All right, too much talking, not enough working. We got to add some HTML so we can put our autoresponder code in here. Traffic wave code is what I'm using on this page. Now, HTML, you can resize to any size, but all it is is the size you make it gives you an idea. Say you got a 125 by 125 banner. You could make this 125 by 125 over here. And it give you an idea when you put this there, you'd know that was the space that your banner took. Even though you could make this as small as you wanted and the HTML would still show up. It just gives you a way of placing your your HTML on the page wherever you want it. Alright. Over here we're gonna enter or paste our HTML. That's just the holder. They all say that when you start out, you just want to take that out. Paste in your code. Okay. I'm gonna save it. I always remember to save it. Yeah, we gotta save it as index since this is a new site. Alright, we're getting somewhere now. There's our autoresponder code in there. It's the wrong color, but we can change that. We're starting to get somewhere. Okay, we're gonna throw some random in image in here because I don't have anything set up for that. You should be able to find a ebook cover quite easily in my pictures. Just like that. Alright, let me make the page a little wider and see you can just man, you can just play with this and just quickly and easily just change things around and I can't imagine trying to do what I do building sites by hand. I couldn't do it. Alright, there's one more thing I wanted to show you. Spread those out a little bit. Alright, we'll go up here. Design and links. What we want is glider border logo content. Accent graphics. Alright, we want an arrow. Circle the arrow dark red. Bam, there's our arrow right there. Now, we want an arrow on each, so all we gotta do is clone. Or up here, clone. And highlight this part of our information by making it dark red, and I hope this is coming out right. It's just not rehearsed because that would have not given a realistic example of how easy and fast it is. I had to set up the text or that would be just writing it off the top of my head. Well, it took way too much time. All right, and we always want to add, we never share your information with anyone because we don't. And that's going to be very important to people that you want to sign up to your list. If they think you're going to be spreading their info around, they're not going to sign up. So you want to make sure that they know that you won't. Background too. I want to show you how that works. If you've noticed anything, I got this one I kind of like. Right there. All right. I'll save it. Preview. Bam. Look at that. Now, this we can change all the colors or whatever to make it look better, but that's, you know, that's not too bad. Now, that we've got it saved. You gotta save before you publish. One button right here. Yes, we want to see this page after it's published. Publish it. And bam, there's our page on the web. See, that's a little testy 111 domain that I made for my new site at homestead.com. So if you build splash pages like this or squeeze pages, you can just host as many as you want with the right service plan and just make the name whatever you want it's a sub subdomain you don't have to buy a domain or it's just it makes it real simple and easy you can test 10 new squeeze pages a day if they don't work just delete them and start over again so we're going to end it there and uh, if you have any questions put them on the blog or email me at freebusinesstraining.org at gmail.com or visit the site at freebusinesstraining.org we'll talk to you next time